I'm not sure if I understood what Commissioner Seal said that she wouldn't uh, support a rollback at all. I just want to make sure I understood what you said. I don't think I made a final position about that, okay. Um, okay. whether a partial rollback would make me happy or not. I haven't made it. That's why I asked what the okay. bottom line was. It's $24 million that we're talking about. Um, if we did a partial rollback rate, then I guess that would be around 15 14, million. It'd be about 15 million. million. It'll be 15 million. Okay. You're back to 9 million out of the 24. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I was very strongly advocating for the rollback rate because, and I'm looking at last year. Um, last year, we had a tax increase by leaving it where it was of $31 million. That didn't pay for a bill. It went into our reserves. We collected more than that. I believe Mike Twitty said it was about 8 or 9 percent. Bill, I don't know what that translates to. Um, so we collected significant revenue last year that didn't pay a bill. It strictly went into reserves. So, um, so I'm not fearful. You know, um, I, I don't see Florida's uh, property values plummeting that would ever put us in a position that we would have to raise our millage so much so that we would have to get a two-thirds majority. And if we were in such a crisis, then I don't think that uh, any commission, whatever that board would be, if it's that kind of a crisis, would have a problem get that two-thirds uh, majority vote. Um, what I'm concerned about right now is what our citizens have gone through in the last year and a half. They've gone through enormous amounts of stress, great deal of unemployment. For so many months, they couldn't get unemployment because the state system failed. Uh, many businesses struggled significantly. Uh, many of our beach communities started to pick up, and then red tide has come in, and now they're seeing another um, cutback. And it's like they've been hit and hit and hit and hit. Um, and so I just think it's really important that we give them something back after last year taking when they were going through such a horrific time, the worst probably ever in the history of the state. And, and, I, and I, I believe that, they, they, that we should do this, especially since our reserves are as healthy as they are. Um, you know, I, I, I was looking for a full rollback rate. I understand the issue with the transportation. I would be happy with half of that. Um, and getting that $9 million and taking care of that. Um, but I, I'm not looking to impose any kind of tax increase on any level to our citizens until they get back on their feet um, emotionally, fiscally, and, and um, you know, they've just been through a whole lot. We've got a lot of people now that, you know, have to pay rent. I know there's been a lot of talk about that because that has been gone. Um, there certainly have been a lot of job opportunities out there. Um, never seen so many for sales, for hire signs in my life. But, um, but I think that uh, it's good stewardship for us to roll back this, whether it's halfway or all the way. And, and that's just the position I'm at. Um, the gas tax, you know, we can talk about that I, maybe at another time. I would much rather see us take this out of property tax than add another um, tax at the pump. We always can at some point talk about a, a user fee for electric cars um, because they are, there is a wear and tear for electric cars on our vehicles or, or on our roads. And if we want to start exploring that option, that's an option. Um, but I fully support some rollback rate, whether it be the halfway or the full rollback rate. Um, I think our citizens deserve it, and, and we should give it to them. Uh, thank you. Um, I, okay, uh, Commissioner Gerard. I just had a question about, about a user fee on electric vehicles. Is that something that local government can even do? No. We, we, that would require a legislative change, and that would probably be enacted at a state level. Um, hopefully they'll talk about it, but I, yeah, Correct. I didn't think it was something we could do. Um, yeah, okay, so I got a, a couple of comments as well. Um, I think last year, uh, for the first time that I can remember, uh, we did a two-year budget plan um, with the idea being that we would uh, keep residents' money last year, cut our expenses, raise our reserves uh, in anticipation of the unknown, <laughs> which we weren't sure what the economy was going to do. and. Um, and as difficult as it was to watch those reserves going up, it, it made sense to me. But at the, at the same time, this year, it's about giving money back mm -hmm. by, by, that, the, by that method. And when you look at the numbers that we went through today, 
we are taking, we're giving money back and we're taking just as much back again in the, in the form of additional gas tax. Um, so the proposal on the table, I, I just have no interest in that. Um, I, I think we need to figure out something a little more creative, and I know staff can do it. So I have a, um, so anyway, let me just finish. The, we've talked about it among many of us here that the gas tax itself, the fund, the, the app is broken. So we're going to do something this year that patches it, the proposal, that next year or the year after we're going to have similar problems.